All right, welcome. My name is Josh. Welcome to the Mr. Floyd Channelings channel. I channel Archangel Raphael and Saint Germain. I generally we do a live channeling every Tuesday night. <clears throat> Pardon me, at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. I will not be available tonight, so I'm going to channel now. If you're new here, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we also do an ISIS card generally daily. I'm supplementing. I just don't have a lot of time this morning. Since my dad's in town, so I'm supplementing by doing a quick channeling. And uh, there we go. So um, I'm also available for business. If uh, you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one session, I've got a couple coming up. And Anna, if you catch this, I'm going to send you an email. My dad's not leaving as early as he was Thursday, so we've got to schedule it one more time here, but uh, we'll get you rescheduled. <clears throat> so if you see that, Anna, um, when you watch this, I'm going to go ahead and send you an email today to reschedule that uh, session. Otherwise, Bunny, we'll see you on Friday. And um, if you're interested in a session, send me an email. I'll pin it to the... Put it in the comments and pin it to the uh, pin it to the comments and put it in the uh, description. It's Mr. Floyd Channelings with an S at gmail.com. So uh, if you just want to send me an email, uh, it's Mr. Floyd Channelings with an S at gmail.com. Also, I will be on the Medium channel at 8 p.m. Eastern on the 28th. That's a Wednesday after uh, the following weekend here. So uh, the next coming up Wednesday, not tomorrow, but the following week, eight days. I will be on the Medium channel at 8 p.m. Eastern. So uh, look for me there, that uh, I'll be doing live channeling. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and channel. Um, typical process applies. I put my head down. Don't have to, as we did on the last live, but it helps to center it. Otherwise, I'm kind of like driving into it versus coming up in it. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put my head down. When I pop up, I'll be channeling St. Germain and Archangel Raphael. It's mostly St. Germain. Archangel Raphael was really the introduction energy. He's still there. Um, the energy is still there, but it's all St. Germain doing the speaking. Um, <clears throat> I am getting hints that ISIS may be coming through at uh, some point. And there's always that possibility, and I have it on audio. I couldn't handle it. Um, there's too much energy. Archangel Michael comes through again. So, um, But we'll see. Right now, I think it's just going to be St. Germain. And I'm going to put my head down and pop back up. Maybe we'll get uh, Sasquatch to come through. I don't know, but uh, let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, welcome. Yes, it is I. It is Saint Germain and Archangel Raphael. It's mostly Saint Germain, of course. Archangel Raphael is the one who tapped Josh on the shoulder a few years ago to wake him up out of the dark night of the soul. So that he could start moving himself forward. You could sit in your dark night of the soul for too long. And so for well, not too long. That's a judgment call, but you can get stagnant in your dark night of the soul. And so you are going to need a little push, so to speak. So Archangel Raphael came in and said, hey, it is time for you to move on and tap Josh on the shoulder. Then I came in a few, about two years later, give or take. I had been messaging Josh, but he had been ignoring the messages. You get messages. <clears throat> All the time you are getting messages. Most of the time you are ignoring the messages. I'm going to repeat that. Same thing happened to Josh. He was getting messages all the time. Hello, St. Germain is here. Archangel Raphael. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, we are in your universe. We want to talk with you. We want to channel. We are, you are hearing things in your head. He was ignoring them. Maybe not ignoring. We don't know if you are ignoring your messages. <clears throat> Pardon me. Or if you are not able to hear your messages. We do not know. It's up to you where you are and how you are vibrating and what you are bringing into your etheric field. Are you eating junk food? Are you eating Pringles all day, so to speak? Uh, are you eating Cheetos? And the Cheeto dust is clouding your field. That's possible, of course. Or your Doritos. And the, watch out for the corn. You're eating the Terminator corn Doritos that are leaving husk shells in your body that are not very pleasant for your body to digest. That eventually, over time, could be very unhealthful. So keep those things in mind. If you are eating those things, Takios or uh, uh, Funyuns, I like to say Funyuns. You have the craziest food on your planet. Funyuns. What is a Funyun? So if you are eating these made-up foods, your euphoric field is going to be heavier. You're going to have things in your field that you need to clear out, that have to be pushed out. You also might have traumas that you have not yet cleared. So if you are eating garbage and then you have traumas that are not yet cleared, <coughs> your field is going to look rather lumpy, rather clouded. You're not going to be clear to receive the messages. And to be honest, if you are eating that junk, it's okay every once in a while. If you're at a party and there's a bowl of Doritos and you reach for a Dorito, oh my God, you are not going to drop dead. 
you see anybody eating Doritos drop dead. Maybe 30 years later, they will drop dead from eating Doritos over time. Yes, absolutely. But we are saying to you, you beat yourselves up. We, we're going back to the same messages here because some of these are important. But it's the same thing. If you're at a party and you see a bowl of Doritos and you go, I am vegan. Or I am the supreme eater and I will not eat a Dorito. There's, I don't think there's any animal fat in a Dorito. But nonetheless, you are looking at the Dorito and you go, I want a Dorito. But it's so terrible for me. One Dorito is not going to kill you. Do not eat a bag of Doritos and do not eat Doritos on a weekly basis and you will be okay. What we are trying to say is that, again, some of you are trying to be so perfect in your, I am the source ascension. Well then, go get your $50 linen, linen clothes and sit in a natural grass field that has never received any chemicals and do not move. Do not breathe because, you know, there could be things falling from the sky too, but do not move. Get an oxygen mask. There you go. You can be perfect. You live on planet Earth. There's a, other things going on that you have no control over, unfortunately. And you, you probably know what they are. X marks the spot, so to speak. What are you going to do? You're going to be the boy in the bubble? You cannot be the boy in the bubble. John Travolta tried that. It was a two-hour movie many years ago. Go watch it. He had to be in the bubble because he had no immune system. We make you strong for a reason. You can eat a Funyun or a Dorito or a piece of Domino's pizza. Not the best thing for you, no. But geez Louise, man, enjoy your universe as well. Do not sit there and just go, I'm only eating the greenest celery. Ah, I'm only going to eat these leafy vegetables that fall from the tree that are so green. No dressing, no nothing. Just green, leafy, nothing. You can do that. That's fine. And if you are happy doing that, more power to you. We want you to be happy in whatever you are doing. But don't beat yourself up. You're on planet Earth. Many of you beat yourself up. You have a, a lot of you like to hide your things. Like you watch TV or you watch a television program, but then you run around saying, I don't really watch TV. Allow yourself to be where you are. I watch a TV program. You know, Josh watches one TV program at a time. He watches one show and that's it. And then he's, but he's really not watching TV. Sometimes you just need to switch your brain off. So he watches, he has one series that he is watching and he watches one or two episodes and moves on his universe. <clears throat> what are you doing in your universe? Are you trying to be so rigid in your spiritual, our, spirituality that you are forgetting that you are human as well? Are you are forgetting that you are out of balance? There's a balance. You have to balance your dark and your light. You have to balance your masculine and your feminine. You have to balance your human and your soft self as well. You can be human on this planet and enjoy human things. You are allowed to go to Florida and rent a jet ski and have fun and not say it's a waste of money because it's not uh, lifting you. It's lifting you up. You are on the jet ski having fun. You are allowed to do things that give you fun. A lot of you in your spiritual time are like, I just must walk slowly and meditate and I cannot have fun and, and no more of anything. No more. I can't eat chocolate or candy and I, I will not go to any more movies or nothing. I'm just going to be. I, you, you can do that. We did not send you to earth to do that. There are lifetimes where that is appropriate, where you can sit on the mountain, so to speak. You can be the man on the mountain and you can meditate. You can go to India. And you can find yours. These days, you we need your action. We need you to get into action. Sitting in your divine feminine, med meditating all day is wonderful. You can feel the source love all day long. But what are you creating? You get up, you are the same source love. You walk over, you go to sleep. You're source love. You wake up, you're going to meditate again at source love. You are break, bringing it to the field, but you are, what are you, you are not creating. You are not moving for pushing, moving forward. The energies of just sitting there going, I am going to be spiritual and change the universe. You have to get into action as well. You have to realize you are human. So how can you be human? Where do you take your human humanity and how do you merge your humanity with your divinity? I'm going to say that again and it's something you need to think about. How do you merge the fact that you are human? So you have to be compassionate. You have to eat. So enjoy eating. Do not sit down and beat yourself up. If you are vibrating where plants are better for you than animals, then you eat that. If you think that an animal protein is something your body needs and you are on the understanding of the web of life 
and can accept accept that, then eat your animal protein. We are not here to judge. You judge yourselves over everything that you think you should do or you think you shouldn't do all the time. That is not going to work for you anymore. You cannot be in the judgments of yourself anymore. You must accept what you do. You want to be a judge yourself, that is fine. You have every right to do everything you choose to do. You are in a already a field of freedom. You can do whatever you want. You can think you can fly and jump off, go jump off a building if you choose to do that. Keep in mind, though, there are laws of gravity that will stop that from happening unless you have a suit of some sort or are able to create some sort of wing suit or something. You are going to crash onto the ground. You have to deal with the laws that there are in this toroidal field, but you are beating yourselves up by trying to strip your humanity from you and just be the spiritual thing. So you are saying, I cannot enjoy myself. I'm not going to have a drink at the wedding, whatever. We've gone through that one before. Or I'm not going to go for ice cream. The ice cream gives you joy. Maybe you eat ice cream and you feel like a child and you smile and you remember the Eddie Murphy sketch, I got my ice cream and you ain't got none. And you are just happy. You are in your childhood. You are living your universe in peace at that moment, which is really all it is, is moment to moment to moment. But you are sitting there. Are you sitting there eating that ice cream going, I'm going to get fat? When ice cream is not going to get you fat. Now, you, you may think that you are... I am so bad for eating the ice cream. It's going to destroy my pancreas and I'm going to throw my, my enzymes off. Your body will handle it. Do not eat ice cream again after that. Do not go home and eat another bowl of ice cream. No, do not eat ice cream for dinner tomorrow. But you had your ice cream. You had the nostalgia. You brought up the memories of being a child. You enjoyed the creaminess, the coolness of the ice cream and maybe the hot day. You had the pleasure of eating it with other people. Stop beating yourselves up. I cannot say this enough. You are, not going, you are not here to be a monk. We are not going to lock you in a cage where you can sit there and meditate all day. Do not stop, stop, stop. If your friends want to go for ice cream and you do not want ice cream, you can say no. But do not eat the ice cream because you think, not eat the ice cream because you think you're going to be bad and maybe I go to hell. Or I am going to damage my body so badly. No, ice cream is okay. It's, it's, it's eating in excess. You have misconstrued your universes by saying, I, do, I want French fries. I'm out, I'm going to have a whatever sandwich and French fries. But then you go, no, French fries are so bad for me. I can never have French fries. Why not? You are already hot as saying, I want French fries. And you are craving the French fries. But you are going, I do not want the French fries because you're playing in your head. You are creating a dichotomy within yourself. Your body will handle the grease and the fat and you will be fine. Are you eating a greasy, fatty diet all the time? No, probably not. Are you eating plant proteins? Probably, mostly, yes. Are you doing things healthy? Yes, of course. Most likely, if you're watching this, you probably are too. So if you crave the French fries, did you have French fries yesterday or the day before? Probably not. When was the last time you had French fries? Was it a week? Eat your French fries. Who cares? You will be fine. Enjoy your lives. That is the key. You know, we are moving towards a higher, higher plane on this planet. You know, this planet is moving out of its third dimensional boxed up universe into the open toroidal field of a 5D universe where you're living from pushing out of yourself rather than trying to live through the dense pressures of earth. You're living inside yourself and pushing it out rather than trying to create it from the outside. What is your 5D universe? Stop beating yourself up for what comes into your frame. You're also doing that as well. This shouldn't have happened. I am spiritual. Things happen. You cannot control that. You did not know there was a policeman over the hill when you were driving 50 when it was 40 miles an hour. Yes, you could have driven 50, 40 miles an hour. Instead, you would not have gotten that ticket. But don't beat yourself up. You already made the choice to drive 50 miles an hour. Because you already realized that the speeding ticket in general is not even what it really is in the first place. If you are, if you are watching this anyways. That it is kind of a scam. But nonetheless, you make your choices. And then you beat yourself up for your choices. Going back to the ice cream. Are you at home now after you ate your ice cream beating yourself up? Are you saying that you are a terrible person because you had ice cream? Are you saying that you're going to be fat now? Or I am going to be diabetic? Or whatever you are throwing into your frame because you feel that you are a terrible person for eating ice cream. When ice cream is not the issue. The issue is you're with your friends and you wanted to the nostalgia. You, have, you mostly attach your eating with emotion. So the emotion of ice cream was positive for you. But now you have to have a positive experience with something so bad for you. So we have to fix that by bringing in lower vibration feelings to smash the enjoyment of the ice cream. Why do you do that to yourselves? 
You cannot just enjoy the ice cream for the ice cream. Now you have to beat yourself up. I am, I am, I'm old enough to understand that I should not eat ice cream. Well, you ate it, so enjoy it. What the heck? You, it's already over. <clears throat> Stop beating yourselves up. If you're at a party and somebody says, here's a beer, boom. You're on planet Earth. You're a human. Drink your Romulan ale, your beer, whatever you are drinking, and go on with your universe. You are not going to die. You are, if you are drinking 10 beers, yes. If you are drinking three beers, yes. If you drink two beers in a matter of five hours at a party, did you have a good time? Were you hydrated? You survived. There you go. Yes, for that 20 minutes, your oil field may have come down just a half. But you'll match the other people drinking beer. But you did not drink the case of beer or six beers. You did not allow in other beings, other energies to come in because you know alcohol is spirits. But you have two beers over three, five hours. Enjoy yourselves. It is your summertime if you're in the northern hemisphere. If you're in the southern hemisphere, it is your winter time. Do not beat yourselves up. Go to your barbecues. Go to your family. Go have fun. Part of being spiritual, part of realizing that you are source is having experiences, having things come for you, allowing those things to come to you, for you, so you can have the experiences. It is not about sitting in your chair and meditating all day. It's not about watching YouTube all day either. A lot of you may wake up, do the spiritual wake up, and then you are watching YouTube all day. Josh did that for years. He did that for a while. You fall into that trap where you're just watching YouTube and you're getting epiphanies and this and that, but you're not creating anything. You are creating a better you slowly but surely, but you are just stuck in your divine feminine watching YouTube all day. Now, if you're watching YouTube in a motion to move yourself forward like I am in my divine masculine and researching my business, researching my side hustle, or researching how I can better bring my message to the universe in large, to the grander source field, absolutely. Yeah, you are, that is the most thing you can do. That is what this is there for. If you're watching YouTube to, I am in the dark night and I do not know what is going on and this has happened, absolutely. But do not fall into the next video and the next video and the next video. You will not create your universe. But do not beat yourself up over, over it if you do that either. A lot of you, like, like we said, that you will fall into that it's easy, I'm just going to watch YouTube all day, and I am centered, and my life is perfect. But you're not creating, you're not moving forward. So keep all that in mind. Stop beating yourselves up, though. If you are in that space, or any space that you are in, I'm not going to keep this very long, because uh, we just is going to get picked up in a few minutes here, but the space that you are in, do not beat yourself up over it. If you are not happy with the space, the energetic field that you are creating, or what you are feeling inside your frame, the only way to change that first is to accept it first. You cannot accept the energy that are going on inside you. You are angry, you are sad, you are feeling this, you are feeling that. You cannot make change. A lot of you will bypass your energies. You will bypass anger. You will bypass frustration. You will bypass being pissed off at somebody. You are allowed to be. You are human. You are going to go, I'm going to stuff that emotion because I am source love. And I will just frame it and uh, source love. No, you are allowed to get frustrated. You are allowed to get angry. Don't stop those emotions. You block those emotions. A lot of you, I am spiritual, so I have no anger. Uh, I am spiritual, so I don't want to hear anybody's darkness. I will turn it off. I will push you away if you say anything dark. Josh knows somebody like that. If you start saying anything dark, not even dark, just nothing that is not all, you know, roses and cheeriness and blue sky and sunny and your universe is puppies and kittens, so to speak. If she does not hear that, well, I have to go now because I cannot bring that into my euphoric field. Then you are living a lie. You have to be able to hear the darkness and the light. We're not saying to go watch Platuna, go watch... Saving Private Ryan, no, that's too much dark. That's, you do not need to see that in the dark and the light. But, but you need to be able to understand that the darkness is allowed, and so is the light. You have to bring those two into balance. You cannot, somebody is wanting to say to you, this, that, and the other is happening. And you are, they are leaning on you. They are not giving you that garbage. They are leaning on you because it's hard for them, and they just are putting it out, saying, you are a good energy for me, and I, I'm just telling you what's going on in my universe. Do not walk away or say, I cannot hear that because it is negative. 
somebody is going through that and they are bringing it to you, unless it is somebody who is continuously dumping the trash on you, so to speak, the junk energies. Like, like if you have a friend who is always like giving you that garbage, like today was my, my worst day ever. And all you hear is that and all that traumas and I'm going to be broke and this and that. That's another story. But if you have a good friend who is just leaning on you and, and giving you, yes, putting out negative energies, maybe they had a bad day. You don't know, always remember your source. You've spent how many years before you woke up as sauce, being human and broken human, mostly at that. Those of you who are watching this, it's the broken shoes. If you know the video, the channel that says this, it's the broken shoes that saved the world. You are mostly broken shoes. You are mostly damaged individuals who have figured out that you are really not damaged. It was your trauma body that was damaged. So keep all that in mind. But if you have a friend who's coming from the damaged trauma body, honor them. Help them. Be there for them. Do not shun them away or hang up the phone or say, I have to go because you are being negative. You cannot run away from those energies on this planet. This is a planet of duality. 50% of your universe is going to be amazing. 50% of your universe is going to be more work and could be a little bit harder. Why? You live in a planet of duality. You chose the duality zone. When you are up there in the etheric field, when you are as energy you, you said, I'm going back to Earth. You want Earth? You have to have the duality. You have to know that you are not loved to find love. You have to know that you are not sauce to become sauce. You have to be hungry then to feel full. You have to eat and then you feel full. So you have to know that you are going to feel the opposite of everything you want first before you get what you really want in your universe. It's not an easy place to be, to be in a land of dichotomy. So honor that dichotomy you do not and you struggle through. Honor the dichotomy you see in the universe. Honor your friend who comes to you with their problems. Do not run away saying you are being dark and I cannot listen to your energies. Honor your universes. We're not going to keep this much longer here. As Josh is about to get picked up and he's got to edit, not really edit the video, he's got to upload the video and he has to make the title card as well. So. But nonetheless, generally speaking, we do these live on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. It's called Tuesday Night Live. Join us. We are always grateful you are here. If you are watching this, you are wanting to make change in your universe, and we are grateful. You are seeing how you play a role in the grander source field, and how you, by breaking down your dense trauma body, that's how you save the universe. That's how everybody saves the world, by saving yourself, by realizing you are your source love. When you can wake up to you, as your source, as the love you've been looking for all along, poof, so the magic happens. I love you. We are Archangel Raphael and St. Germain, and we have channeled. Honor it all. You are living in a planet of duality. Honor the duality. Stop beating yourself up. Eat your slice of pizza, and then tomorrow, go eat some spinach or something. It's not going to kill you. Drink your beer. Be with your friends. Do not drink your case of beer. Do not drink your six-pack of beer. Do not drink your fourth beer or your third, but drink your first or maybe your second and enjoy yourself. You have to stop beating yourselves up. You do not have to stop doing anything, but a society or a planet that chooses one thing and then is angry that they chose this thing and then stands over here in the frame going, why did I choose this? And they're beating themselves. You can, living in your own dichotomy, you're going, stop, stop. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Look in your universe. What is it in your universe where you are living that dichotomy? We cannot answer that. But what are you doing in your universe that you are choosing to do than beating yourself up? Or that you are wanting, but not, but you are denying yourself. If you want that, if you are, what would you do for a Klondike bar? If you want a Klondike bar, eat one. Do not sit there in your head and go, it's not good for me and I'm a bad person for eating a Klondike bar. Eat a Klondike bar. Do not eat one tomorrow or the next day, but eat one. It's not going to kill you. This is what we are trying to tell you here. You are, you are making this a little more serious in a lot of ways than it truly needs to be. Part of this is about having fun too, you know. Releasing transmission. All right. Uh, wow. 2442. All right. So there we go. Um, yin yang, right? Um, 
Thank you. Grateful you were here. Um, we'll be live next Tuesday. And uh, if you want a live channeling with me, again, uh, check the comments and or the description. And uh, there we go. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and release uh, or end this. Thank you for being here. And um, love you. See you in the next. Grateful.